I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on algebra. To begin with, we have seven word problems. They are all basically linear relations. I like you to pause the video, copy these questions, try them out, and then look into my suggestions. Here are the last two questions, question number six and seven. Now we are going to take their solutions one by one. We'll follow a method to solve this. We need to define variables before even we start making equations, right? Question number one here is, one number is four times another. If you subtract five from each number, the sum is 50. What are the numbers? So we're talking about one number, so let it be x. So we say, let the number be x. So what number is four times another? So other number will be four times x. If you subtract five from each number, that means x minus five and four x minus five, the sum is 50. So that gives you an equation that is x minus five plus 4x minus 5, their sum is 50. So you can think like this. This was first number, that is the other number. If you subtract 5 from each number, the sum is 50. Does make sense to you? What are the numbers? We have to find x, the only variable, right? So you can combine the like terms. So you could do one more step here, x plus 4x. And we have minus 5 minus 5 equals to 50. So that is 5x and this is minus 10. So we get here 5x minus 10 equals to 50. Now we can add both sides 10. So we get 5x equals to 50 plus 10, which is 60, right? So which you can write as 60. And so x it will be 60 divided by 5. Perfect. Which is 12. What are the numbers? Right? So let's write down our answer. And there should be a statement to write the answers. Correct? So you get marks for defining variables. That is the let statement. Correct? Then the method which is being followed. And then writing the answer also. Then you see the numbers. What are the numbers? So the numbers are So one number is 12, the other one is 4 times 12, right? 48, right? Do you see that? So that is how you're going to write both the numbers, x and 4x. So I hope the concept is clear to you, right? Now let's take the second question. The length of a rectangle is 15 meters more than its width. So let's sketch. So sometimes a sketch will help. And we can define the variables here itself. It says length of a rectangle is 15 more than its width. So we can say let the width be w. So this is our width, which we are saying is w. And we are saying length is 15 more than, that means length, this is the length, which is 15 added to width then length equals to width plus 15. Is that okay? The perimeter of the rectangle is 74. Now what is perimeter? Perimeter is sum of all the sides. So we can say perimeter. Sometimes you can also define variables like this. Write the name and then the variable. Perimeter is equals to 2 times length plus width, right? So which is Basically, we can say length L equals to this, right? So 2 times length plus width. Does it make sense to you? In our case, we are given that the perimeter of the rectangle is 74. So we can write 74 for perimeter equals to 2 times, and length is W plus 15. 
plus 2. Does it make sense to you? Now, one option is definitely you can open the bracket. The other is you can divide by 2. So we'll actually divide by 2 first. And then we'll do this math, which is 2w plus 15. Is that clear to you? When you divide 74 by 2, you get what? 3, 14 is 7, 37, right? Now we can isolate w. So we can do 37 minus 15 is equals to twice w. Now how much is this equal to? 2, 22 is 2w. So from here, we can find that width is equal to 22 divided by 2, which is 11. And you have to use the units in your answer, correct? So we can say width equals to 11 meters and length equals to 11 plus 15, which is 26 meters, correct? So that becomes your answer. Find the length and width. Therefore, length is 26 meters and width is 11 meters. Is that clear to you? So that is how you're going to write the answer. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Right? Number three, the sum of two numbers is 54. Twice the smaller is nine more than the larger. What are the numbers? So in this case, we have to define two numbers. We can say let the two numbers be x and y. Sum of two numbers is 54. That means x plus y is 54. Correct? Twice the smaller is 9 more than larger. Twice the smaller, we'll assume smaller x. Twice the smaller is, means equal to 9 more than larger. So y plus 9. So we get second equation. So when we have two variables, we need two equations to solve for both of them. We need to find the numbers. Now, from these equations, we can isolate y, right? So from here, we can say what y is. So y is equal to 54 minus x. We can call this as our third equation. So now we will substitute the third equation, the value of y, in the second equation. So we get 2x equals to, instead of y, I'll write 54 minus x. And we have plus 9. Does it make sense to you? Now we can bring the variables to one side. So we get 2x plus x equals to 54 plus 9. And we can now solve this equation. Perfect. So combining 2x plus x, we get 3x. Let me change the ink. Is equal to 54 plus 9 is 63. So x will be equal to 63 divided by 3. So x value is 21. Correct? We know y is 54 minus x. So y is 54 minus 21. So y is equal to, taking away from 54, 21, we get 3. And then this is also 3, 33. Correct? So we get our answer. So our answer here is, the two numbers are 21 and 33. Does it make sense? So you can check when you add, you get 54, right? And if you double the lower one, then 9 is the difference, correct? Question number four. A 12 meter trunk is cut into two pieces. Smaller is one third the length of the longer, right? So, so the pieces length will be
Now, you could write it in two different ways. It says smaller is one third the length of the longer, right? So we can say longer is three times. You can do that also. The piece's length is x and 3x. So you could write like this, right? So this is smaller. So when we, it's a question of interpretation. The smaller is one third the length of the longer. So that means if longer is 3x, then smaller is x. We are avoiding fractions by defining like this. Do you understand? So pieces length is x and 3x. Do you understand? The longer is 3x and the smaller is x. Their total is 12. So we can now write x plus 3x equals to 12. That is 4x is equal to 12. So x is equal to 12 over 4, which is 3. Is that correct? So 1 is 3, the other one is 3 times x. So 1 is 3, the other one is 3 times x, which is 9, right? So, and you also know that 3 times x will be equal to 3 times 3, which is equal to 9. So let's write down our answer now. So answer for us is that the pieces are three meter and nine meter long. Is that correct? Right? Now let's take question number five. Question number five is if x is equals to minus four, y equals to three, satisfies this equation, find the value of k. Now here we do have x square, which is not linear. However, we know the value of x, so it should be easy, right? So we are given x equals to minus 4, y equals to 3, and we are given that 3x square plus ky equals to 24, right? We need to find what k is. So let's substitute the values. So if I write 3 times minus 4 whole square plus k times 3 equals to 24. So that is 16, right? So 3 times positive 16 plus 3k equals to 24, correct? So this is, we can write 3k equals to 24 minus this. When you multiply, 3 times 6 is 18, so we get 48, correct? So we have 3k equals to 24 minus 48 is minus 24. So the value of k is minus 24 divided by 3, which is negative 8. And therefore, our answer in this case is k equals to negative 8. Clear? Question number 6. The sum of three numbers is 75. The second number is 5 more than the first. And the third number is 3 times the second. Find the numbers. We can say that let the first number be x. Then in that case, then the second number is what? The second number is 5 more than the first, x plus 5. And the third number is what? The third number is 3 times the second. 3 times the second, which is x plus 5. We are also given the sum of three numbers is 75. Sum is 75 for these three numbers. So we could write this as a form of equation. So add them all. So we get x plus x plus 5 plus 3 times x plus 5. All this should be 75. Is that clear to you? So now we have an equation to solve. And we can actually, uh, uh, 
find the solution. So we have here 2x plus 5 plus this is 3x plus 15 equals to 75. 2x plus 3x is 5x and this is plus 20 equals to 75. So we can say 5x equals to 75 minus 20 which is 55. Correct? And from here we can find what x is correct so let's do it on this side so we have x equals to 55 divided by 5 that is 11 the second number is x plus 5 so x plus 5 will be 11 plus 5 which is 16 and 3 times x plus 5 will be 3 times 16 which is 48 correct so we can write down our answer Numbers are 11, 16, and 48. Is that clear to you? So that is how you should be solving this question. Now let's look into the last question, which is question number 7. It says, the maximum desired pulse rate for a person exercising can be found by the formula M equals to 0 0.8 within brackets 220 minus A, where M is the pulse rate in beats per minute and A is H in years. First part is to isolate A and then determine age of the person with pulse rate of 161.6 beats per minute. So we are given M as equal to 0 0.8 times 220 minus A. To isolate, we'll first divide by 0 0.8. So M divided by 0 0.8 equals to 220 minus A. Now we can bring A to this side and we get 220 minus M over 0 0.8. So that is how you could actually isolate A, right? So that is the first part. You could further uh, work on it. You can write 8 as uh, 0 0.8 as 8 over 10 and then further isolate but this is good enough so we'll do part a in this fashion second determine age of a person with pulse rate of 161.6 now a will be equals to 220 minus m is 161.6 divided by 0 0.8 is that clear we are given that m is equals to 161.6 so A is equals to 220 minus. Think as if this decimal has been cancelled. Now divide 1616 by 8. So 8 goes 2 times, right? 2, then 0, and again 2. So 220 minus 202. So A will be equal to, so when you take away, 10 take away 2 is 8, and 1 is 18. So what we get is 18. And therefore, the answer for us is, Eighteen years. Is that clear to you? So that is how we can actually solve all these seven questions. I hope you find this interesting and useful. Now these are very good examples to begin with. So they are all based on linear equations. How to solve linear equations after writing a let statement, writing an equation. And sometimes you may land up with two or more equations. And then we simplify to get our answer. Perfect. So I hope you find this exercise useful. Thanks for your time and all the best.